Now this test drive piece is going to make a lot of Volkswagen fans angry. And there are a lot of Volkswagen fans, I know that. But bottom line is, I didn't really like the Volkswagen Golf. Now that said, you might like it. I know a lot of people do, based on the fact that the Golf was World Car of the Year a few years ago and a finalist for North American Car of the Year. But I found it surprisingly ordinary. Now there are a lot of people who have said a lot of very nice things about the Golf. Car and Driver magazine called the sixth generation Golf the best ever. They talked about things like minimal gaps and a great sound when you close the door. Yes, those quality things are important, but I'm going to take the ugly American middle-aged guy angle. I really want something extra, something that's going to make me want to fall in love with a vehicle. Now this interior is downright plain less room than the average for the compact class, and I just didn't find it cheerful when some of the competitors are. Now, while so many cars are just loaded with technology these days, the test car VW provided me with didn't even have automatic headlights. Now, and even base models of some other brands have Bluetooth for your phone and digital iPod connectors, my test car had none. Now, that is available as an option. The navigation system wasn't available as an option on this trim. You had to go up to the diesel and overall interior storage is at a minimum. Now this wouldn't matter to a Volkswagen purist, but for those of us in the mass market, we want those extras. And safety of course sells. Anything with less than five star safety ratings all around, that should raise a red flag. And in frontal crashes, the Golf gets four stars. Price, mid-teens to mid-twenties, about average for the category. So overall, the VW Golf is solid. And if you're a Volkswagen lover, God bless you, buy a Golf. But for the rest of us, Solid is okay, but the golf just isn't spectacular. I'm Auto Beat reporter Jeff Gilbert.